Hey folks, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress, and this is Mad Rabbit. Um, this is sort of the start of a new season in Dwarf Fortress. I decided to end last season. Um, kind of like a, most of my game playlists are going to now be like kind of individual fortresses I can, at least for now. If I ever decide to go back and change that, um, well, we'll see. I think C, we're still playing on uh, ver this version down here, 3, 4, 11. I created a new world. I, I actually used the design new world with advanced parameters to give me some more volcanoes because someone did suggest um, about volcano and bark, which I sort of was hinting at a couple times. I had sort of thought about it. Um, for those of you that want uh, dwarfs named after you, please do let me know. Like I said in the last uh, Dwarf Fortress video, to leave it in that one, but um, you can probably leave it in this one. It's fine. I can't promise I'll give you <laughs> the position you want, but um, right now I only have four names. Um, one was a request from way earlier in the season. Um, one person actually left a few remarks, but didn't actually leave a request, but I decided to put them in anyway. Two other people left a request in that last video, and I'll probably leave myself and maybe put in the name of a few of uh, a few of the people that do Let's Plays of Dwarf Fortress. That I like. So I've already pre-generated this world and I have checked it out. There's a few spots on it I like for, for volcanoes and I'm gonna take a quick look here. Um, we'll go in. Out of them we'll just pick up, we'll pick a spot. Now there's an initial mark. I don't think I'll name any of our guys. Um, oh, I didn't keep my notes. Oh, well, I'm going to have to go find him again. <laughs> All right, let me pause here just to at least find the initial the embark I wanted here. Hold on. All right, I came back. Um, unfortunately, the only problem with this is it's a hot temperate temperature environment, which I really have never done before. I kind of feeling that's probably probably not a good thing. I want to make sure I had a had a uh, stream the volcano and some trees in it. So that was sort of the problem for finding the embark, because there were several volcanoes. It was just, um, I think I actually got to enlarge the embark area slightly. Okay, so it looks like we have fluxstone, clay, very deep soil, which is good, deep metals. Um, sort of would have liked shallow metals, but that's fine. Okay, we've got a brook, heavily forested, so we should be pretty good. I think I'm going to embark here. Um, yeah, what the heck. Oh. Well, let me see, maybe I can actually shrink that slightly. I sort of want... As long as they have... oh crap. <laughs> uh, I keep messing up. Hold on here. Okay, this is the embark area. Hitting embark. I know it's a little larger, but it's not. It's smaller than what we had. And yes, yeah, so we'll definitely be preparing for the journey carefully here. Um, I won't be initially naming you guys, like I said, um, Zentro guy actually put in a request to be a Merc's, a Merc's Dwarf, so I won't be naming him until I decide to do that. I get one in, so um, I think for now we won't name anyone. Maybe in an episode or two you might start seeing me name some people. So let's just go with uh, two miners. Competent, it's fine. Woodcutter, it's competent. Maybe a little, well, let's give him competent carpentry. Uh, Mason, competent. Actually, let's go crazy with that. So let's see here. We want. I like a mechanic. Let's do our let's do a grower. 
brewer cook usually a cook comes in like in the first or second waves or brewer so they're gonna actually give a little less in those two and mainly be more for growing okay this guy here will be kind of the oddball he will do um, the mechanic Let's do competent and for now, sort of a stone grafter, but a novice. Let's make adequate, just in case. I always like to have a guy that's got good appraisal skills at the beginning. He's usually the leader. Usually I try and max it out. And sometimes leader, if I want to do make, actually make him the overall leader in the long run. Um... I don't know if I want that though. It's, um, nah, we'll, we'll wait on that. We'll not do that. Uh, let's go for items here. Picks. Um, we're not going to have an anvil to start. I'll, I'll pick one up in the initial um, trading. And we always get rid of this stupid wheelbarrow. A little bit fewer. Well, I'll keep buckets, but. <clears throat> we shouldn't really need to worry about things fro freezing over in a hot environment. Quivers. I don't know why they gave you so many quivers, but I'll go one less on that. Don't care about dimple cups, because that's really mainly for for dyeing your clothes. Cave wheat I do like a little bit more. Pump helmet spawn a little bit more. Actually, let's make sure we're at 41. When you go to 21, you get that extra barrel, so it's, that's sort of good. Bags, don't quite need that many bags. Keep those around for. Alright, so I don't bother to get a war dog, it's just too much. I could just always train one up after. So I get one male female do dog, male female cat, one rooster, usually five or six hens. Let's do, f oh, we'll do six for now. <clears throat> Alright, so what we'll be doing now is adding new items. Quickly take a look at. Just quickly, uh, I don't think we're gonna need much of this stuff. Could get bring some gypsum powder from the get go, just to have a little. Not much. We don't really need a lot of that from the get go from the beginning. Rinks, yeah, that's probably what will eleven. So we have a little variety. I don't know if you need a fishery for this right off the bat or not. So I do know if I want to get turtles and lobster right now. I sort of like to raise some turtles and lobsters though. So what I need to do now is just get the cheap meat too. I have a price of two on it. <clears throat> what am I doing here? Oh, okay. Then you just get a bunch of them so that um, you get a barrel for each one. Unless they got rid of that exploit. I don't really think it's an exploit, but it sort of is. So I go through here and I use up as much as I, my points as I can with this. Don't bother with uh, the ones that cost four. 
So let me pause here while I do that real quickly. All right, I got a bunch. Didn't go too crazy. See here, there's, there's a list, but um, I'm gonna actually add a um, little more here. For this stuff. Oh, one point left. Uh, one pound spawn. Okay, good. So let's actually name the fortress. I, I, I typically like doing that. Um, I'm just hitting the R button to do uh, something that looks good. Steel oaks. Nah. Furnace law. Maybe. <laughs> Tin murdered. Uh, da, da. Scarlet rocks. Good enough. <laughs> Group name, uh, just for prosperity's sake. The humid quake. Yeah, since we're in a hot environment, it works for me. Uh, good enough. I guess we will embark. So hit the E button and we'll go.